case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in 1957 the united states court of appeals for the first circuit heard the case of mason vs american emery wheelworks which hinged on the question of whether manufacturers are responsible for injuries caused by their defective products even when there is no direct contract with the injured party. Whit Mason filed a tort lawsuit against the American Emery Wheelworks, alleging that the company's negligence in manufacturing a defective emery wheel led to his serious injury while grinding. The lower court dismissed the case, siding with the defendant's argument that they were not liable due to the lack of a direct agreement with Mason. Unsatisfied with the decision, Mason appealed, asserting that manufacturers have a duty of care to ensure their products do not harm users or others nearby, regardless of contractual relations. The higher court acknowledged the modern trend in tort law, which holds manufacturers accountable for injuries resulting from their negligence, as established in the case of McPherson v. Buick Motor Company and expressed in the Restatement of the Law of Torts, Sex 395. Ultimately, the court ruled that the lower court had erred in its dismissal of the case based on an outdated rule. The case was sent back to the lower court for reconsideration in light of the higher court's decision, allowing the plaintiff to continue their pursuit of justice against the defendant. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.